You saw the BRRR seminar. You saw the property education show. Both sold out, 384 spaces, never been done before in the UK. Now, the property education show, deal sourcing edition. This is the big one, guys. This is the most lucrative one where you don't have to put any money into it. Deal sourcing is for everybody that is in the property industry or is looking to get into the property industry. 384 spaces, tickets are free. Get yours now because they won't be around for long. Saturday morning, weekly gang. I am on one of my TPC tours, the biggest one we've ever done, 36 people. Come and take a look at this. I got right, I got heart, I won't die, I'm a fight, I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah. Have you waiting since last week? Check out my new car, because this is a week away from completion and I get to see, are they telling the truth? Or are they full of shit? So we're going to Milton Keynes. This one is going to be sensational. 225 spaces available. needed I know parking's needed and I know that has a separate entrance that creates the parking for this that doesn't need parking because it's already passed as flats so there's no issues there when we go to the council so guys we're on the um, TPC tour and there's a lot of us today I, I think it's the big well I know it's the biggest one we've ever done and when they've demolished this here the next door neighbor's fence has been pushed over which Duna is doing the weekly today so let me know is Duna a better cameraman than Phil We'll see. The fence has fell down. The owner of next door has come along, had a conversation with TT. He's contacted his solicitor to find out who owns it because he's unhappy. Instead of just saying to us, you've knocked the fence down, can you fix it? He's contacted his solicitor and he's drafting up a letter to send to us. So now, do I fix the fence immediately? Or because he's contacted his solicitor and he wants to go down the legal route, do I just leave the fence for the next six to months to 12 months because he's done it that way instead of just speaking to us? Oh, no, he's not done it like that. He just wanted to see who owns the fence, whether it's his issue to fix it or your issue. Okay, I stand corrected, guys. You didn't tell me that five minutes ago when I just... <laughs> we just had the whole conversation. You made it out like he was an absolute nightmare and I'm ready to have war. <laughs> Duna, did he do it? Yeah. Me and Duna was looking at each other like, oh, I can't believe he's done that. What a lovely human being. And we will fix the fence and he doesn't have to pay a penny. Yeah. We will do it ourselves. Mr. Next Door Neighbour, you're a nice guy, but he made it out like he wanted to have a war. We are at the second property of the day and I'm actually excited to be here because this is a week away from completion and I get to see, are they telling the truth or are they full of shit? away from completion they are telling the truth I am over the moon with that house it's absolutely incredible when you see this house honestly the level of this house is going to be outrageous it's actually might be too good for the area if I'm completely honest I mean there's some beautiful houses five six hundred thousand this one's going to cost us 250 to purchase 140 on the renovations to 390 40 grand allowance of 430, I'll get 550, 600 grand for this. Um, but even if I get 500, I've made 70 grand, which is 20% return. Property number four, I think we skipped number three. I don't know, we've got some footage of it. And I'm excited to see this one myself, but what I've been told this morning by my contractor is we can't go through the front door because it's unstable as the roof's falling in. So we're having to go outside, round the back, and I have a funny feeling that someone's still going to try and go through the front door. Where's he come from? Dickhead. <laughs> Weekly gang. I am back on a Monday morning, but it's not morning. It's afternoon. And guess what? It's quarter past five. This is the time we are starting the weekly because... I am on a health kick. I am on 
health is wealth, and sorted myself out. We have so many events this year. I am working non-stop, seven days a week, all the hours I'm awake, so I need to look after myself. So today was my first PT session and my new dietitian. So I have spent the whole day at my gym, going through things, trying to get myself into a health kick, and I am very happy. Then I got a phone call from where my new car is saying, your car has arrived, it's ready for collection at four o'clock tomorrow, would you like a sneak peek? So I went down there, had a sneak peek, and guess who I bumped into? Trouble. That's who I bumped into, Trouble. I've come out of the back room, and these two are just standing there in the middle of the showroom looking around, and I was like, okay, that was weird. I knew there was in Birmingham, but I didn't know there was there. Then I've got to the office, and I have a gift that has arrived from my Isabella, and I'm happy, it's been a great day, everything's moving forward. I've also just received a picture, didn't I, of the doors being fitted in one of the properties, and that's all done and dusted. Another property was completed over the weekend. There's a little clip there for you guys to see. Loads of houses are being completed in the next six weeks. Lots and lots and lots of videos will be on YouTube of before and after, so I'm excited about that. He is happy. He is happy-ish. No, oh, he's in a great mood. Oh, that's good. TT's in a great mood today. Phil, how are you? How was your weekend? Because I know you and J9 decided to go on a, was it a food break? How many meals did you have? In one day? No gym. Duna says he's skipping the gym like he skips leg day. Duna, Duna, is he skipping the gym? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. What did he do Saturday? Food, uh, food crawl, five lots of food in one day. And what did you eat today? Rice. Twix. Yeah. Weekly gang, we have the Zoom. Members only, educational Zoom, one per month. January's one is tonight. Great turnout, I feel that we're going to have tonight. An absolutely fantastic turnout. Because when I did them weekly before, People used to pick and choose. Now it's only once a month. Everybody tries to get onto the one Zoom, which is amazing for us because it means more interaction. So let me get that out of the way, which is in about 45 minutes. It's in the wrong box. Has Isabella done something here that's quite sneaky? Has she bought me something else? Wow. Bloody hell. She's got good taste, hasn't she? I don't think I could ever use it, though. I'd be too scared to get it dirty. Yeah. I am very lucky and very fortunate. Wow. Buy a house, buy a bag. I did buy two houses last night as well. This is the, this is the thing that people don't understand. Bridging usually goes on the assets. If they're not so bothered about your personal credit or your personal income, they still like to have a basic income. But it goes on the assets. It's not like getting a residential mortgage. So people get a little bit confused with bridging. They think it's quite difficult to get. It's not. It's very simple. Lamborghini, kept you waiting since last week. Check out my new car. So there you have it, that's my new car. We was going to get a Porsche 911 Turbo. It didn't suit us, and the one person that actually changed our minds do you want to put it in your face so people can see? The you was the one. So that's it, new car collection. I'm very happy. Now I need to go back to work because bank balance has been depleted a little bit. That's 
what it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are we? Sound. Great move, you tell. Yes. Sorry to keep you all waiting. I bumped into a very, very, very old room. Every time I come here, it's dirty. Okay, another method is <laughs> ah, here we go. I cleaned the whole place down on Friday. Yes. They're coming back, they've got a lot more cutting to do. There's no point in keep cleaning it down because you just can't keep the dust down. How good are these? Guys, these are fire doors and these have a certain way to be fitted. You can see the tolerance around the edge, all the way around. And then you have the intermittent strips here which make the door a little bit hard to close at first, but they will wear down. Yep. Um, if it's not done right, then you'll end up getting a new door. Let's take a look around. I've got some things I want to show you. So, remember this, guys, the three phase in this flat, in these flats, sorry, in this building. These are all going to have a bespoke cupboard made, and it was supposed to be tomorrow, but I've got the carpenters at my personal house doing some work for me tomorrow, which we've had to get done. It was very important. This will completely change when the cupboard's on. Sorry guys, I've got to answer this. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. There's a deal sourcing education day, yes. Yes, the paid one, yes. Yeah, that sold out completely. That's not an education, that was a seminar in, um, in Millennium Point in Birmingham. It, it's sold out, it's the 28th, it's actually sold out, there's no tickets available for that one unfortunately. No, members of the circle, they get priority to all of the networking events and all of the education days. It's not me, we have a capacity, I don't own Millennium Point, so if there's a fire or anything and something happens and I've oversold the tickets, I'm the person that's going to get in trouble for it. I would let everybody through the door, because it's free, I don't get paid, but Millennium Point won't let us have any more people into the venue, there's nothing I can do. I'm very grateful for the support and I'm super overwhelmed when I get phone calls like that. But with the events that we do, I think the growth of what's going on and the, the fact that we're very real and you get to see my life, we're growing at such a pace that people are calling me up saying, can you just add a ticket? Can you do this? Can you do that? Guys, when I do free events, I'd give you all a ticket. If I could get 10,000 people in, I would. I'd love to. But obviously, we don't control the, the capacity at certain venues and... Even though I just told him that he couldn't have a ticket, I feel awful. I actually feel awful because it's free. But, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Health and safety. It's not, um, sure, I can squeeze a ticket though, can't I, for him? It's not really nice, is it, saying no to people? Maybe you find a bigger venue. Mm. Bigger venue, maybe, next year. Be nice, be kind. I'm going to give him a ticket, actually. I'm going to try and figure, he can be part of the staff or something like that. Um, guys, let's have a quick walk around of this property. So, like I said, fire doors fitted. Fire doors have to be fitted in a certain way because they have to be signed off and they're very important. These doors are not fire doors. And look at this, this is really cool. Show them that. That was a door, a walkway, wasn't it? Yes. That is no longer. The separate flat now has been cordoned off because we're at the end. We are at the end of this project, which makes me smile. We can't find one ring main. Is that what I'm being told? Yeah, we've got one open ring in one of the flats. And Warrell to the rescue. Warrell to the rescue. He's going to find it. Let's go upstairs. This has been fitted. Oh. Okay, yeah. This has been fitted. All the doors have been fitted. Again, all fire doors. In here is... I might have two washing machines and a tumble dryer. Or two tumble dryers and a washing machine. I haven't decided. So we're just going to buy three, three washers probably. And you don't want a dryer in here. Because if we have a dryer, we're going to create moisture. And we're going to start having problems. I think we're going to have to. Fire hazards are... I know, but I think we're going to have to. I, mean, I can put a dryer there because I can draw straight out of the wall. That's or... what I think. You're going to have to. Um... You're going to have to have a dryer. Okay. Guys, come in here and have a look at this as well. This room's pretty cool because I think the microwaves are in here. I'm sure they are. Yeah. The microwave ovens? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're the grill. They've got a grill. They've got a grill in there. So they're in now. The fridge is in. Does the fridge have a freezer? Uh, yeah, it has an ice box. I made sure that you, I don't know whether you think it's, it's tight closed. It's got an ice box. Okay. Yeah. So they're in there as well. I don't like these sinks. I absolutely hate them sinks. They really annoy me. It's to do with the space issue. So you have is that your extractor? Yeah, so the extractor, guys, is a, a, a big ongoing problem with this particular kitchen. So if, if we go into the other room, I'll show you why, because it's quite interesting. Um, can't cut the hole, can you? 
Can't, can't get the whole thing there. It's interesting because how the Radomantic works, and I'll make sure you how close it is and how much mm. coverage you've got to cut away. There's the, um, the, hub. the hub. Extractor fan will go underneath here. And obviously, it's pretty, well, you can you go into the room, yeah, but you can see it there and there. Taken down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So guys, let's go and show you another problem we got with this side contained units and something from Howden's, but it As will be fixed. This is, this is now, this room's probably now got sort of 95% complete. Mm -hmm. There's a door to go up there, just a little push door. That's a hatch that holds the water heater. Down here, the bathrooms are all done and completed. Stinks it in there. Now the stay that they stink. They stink because no water's ever been put You need to flush them. It's been, no, no, I've got today, the plumber's coming out, I know, I know. Phil. No. <laughs> the, Phil. The plumber's coming out and he's going to reconnect all the water because we had that. That's as bad as Prime. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to flush the toilets and put water down the tracks. Okay, that is it's horrendous. Or not, it's coming from the shower. Which one going in this one? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So this is the last incomplete room. A uh, bit of an electrical fault going around. There's only three sockets visible. We have an open ring main. I've been testing bits and bobs to try and figure out why. Went out and bought some socket testers, some, some multimeters, bits and bobs yesterday. Haven't quite got to the bottom of it yet. Will tomorrow morning. We've got other stuff to do today. The lighting is now all in. I've just got to put the switch cable above the ceiling and do the connections. Um, I'd say, obviously I'm not the electrician on this job, but this, one, this last flat's become a bit of a nightmare. Just because we had some electricians who came in who can't find the way and they're trying to do it in a way where we're only cutting small holes and then fishing around the back to try and find it when realistically it might have been cheaper just to take the whole bloody wall off and replaster it and put it back on because it's been that much of a pain in the arse. So yesterday the uh, electrician that we did have here wired uh, the sockets, the spurs, the socket below and the, the hub supply yeah. underneath the Explain what's going on with, the, uh, with this actually guys, look, yeah, the extractor so fan, this is the problem. So, so what they're saying is, so, so imagine this cupboard here is the cupboard from that gap, which was the one that you saw in there that the extractor fits within. So they want us to cut out, so existing, there is a palmist here. So this fits here, like so. They want us to, here like so, sorry. They want us to, so we're saying, well, you can't cut it out because it's more than the cupboard. So he said, well, you remove the palm width. Okay, so we've removed the palm width. So now if you just have a look at how tight this sits, there's no cupboard left. There's literally like five, six mil. There's, there's, there's literally no cupboard left. So then he's like, well, I've reinforced it because you've got apparently, I've now found out, there's another panel here. I've got to screw that, cut that panel down and screw it to the back of there, and then cut through both. That should give you the... The, the gap the, for the plug. The gap, and the gap for the plug off the hinge. Yep. And it should also give you the um, the strength in the cabinet. Okay. He believed, he said he's... Is that heavy? Not overly, but it's not light, you know. Mm -hmm. he, so he said to me that no one has ever called him about this. No one has ever asked this question before. This has never been raised. I do not believe that. Because look at that. Any person in their right mind would raise a question about why well, you were cutting out 97, 98% of the cupboard to fix me within. Yeah, it's a mistake, isn't it? But they do work, apparently. We'll find out tomorrow. He will let you know. Yeah, I actually will let you know tomorrow because uh, I'm here now because I want this property. I need to get the valuation officer in next week. Rendering, I need starting on Monday. Literally, we are probably, I want to say, 92, 93% complete. Yeah, right. There's so, tiny little things left to do, and then obviously we have to get the decorators in. Yeah, the, the decks are coming in tomorrow to go around all the new door frames. They're not going to paint the whole place tomorrow, though, no, are they? No, gonna, no. They're going to seal all the woodwork that's been put in, and they're going to sand down all of the holes that have been patched up. And another thing, guys, if you look behind, these heaters, these heaters are all in now. The whole house is electric. There's no gas in this property. So that all the meters downstairs, we're finding that these are actually using a lot of seven electric. Pounds seven pounds a day if you have them on full. So we might have to find an alternative because they're costing a lot of money, which is good because we saw it now. We've got to figure it out. We need to figure that out. But all in all, I'm happy. It's awesome. We're nearly there. We're over budget by about 10 grand. But what do I say? Anyone who's a member of the property circle, I always say, allow a contingency for the development time and allow a contingency for the budget. So I knew what the budget was and I was trying to get the budget done for another thing, but the real budget we've got it done for is in contingency.
but it's still 10 grand also, over what yeah, I wanted to spend. Yeah, just bear in mind. No, 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 no. Tom's trying to save no, his no, arse no, here. He's looking, no, look, no, at the, no. look at the smirk we've on his got, face. We've got, we've got, look at the doors, look at the level that we've taken it to. You know, you could we have got this done for... I could have got this done for 40 grand. Yeah. Genuinely. Like new kitchens. Yeah, I could have got this done. On the work surface, a normal eggshell door. We don't have that. Yeah, I could have got this done for 40 grand. I could have got, I could have gone all cheap, tacky. The doors would have been 15 quid. The skirting boards are from Havens, proper skirting yeah. boards. Yeah, we've gone on to, we're on about 70, 75K for this. But obviously there's huge profit in it and the and level. Is six, six units. Yeah, the so level has one to one be exceptional, as you know. Well, I only do things that are exceptional. So we had to get to this exceptional level. When I put the video out on YouTube on this in the next couple of weeks, this property is unbelievable. Like absolutely 10 out of 10 standard were there. Now, IKEA. <laughs>
on the night, you'd pay 100 or 200 pounds for it if I'm completely honest. But tickets are below. Turn up, Milton Keynes. That is my second one on the road. And then April, I'm in Liverpool. source another property and I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of it because I don't push the sourcing division enough because we get a lot of work but I want more and more and more because we've got so many new members. We've sourced a property in Cheshire and we've secured it for £91,500. This property's got a bit of damp as well, guys. It's got damp in the chimney stack and damp in one of the rooms. So just to give you a quick example of what's going on, we've got kitchen at 4K, bathroom at 3K, decorating at 2K, rewire at 3.8, central heating at 3.5, carpentry at 2.5, plastering's gonna come in at 7K on this one because it's got damp in the house, like I said. Flooring's 3.5, garden's very small, actually, 500 pound they've got in here for the garden. Windows and doors are 6K, strip out's 2K, fascia and gut is 1,200. External paint on one of the walls is 500. Wall removal in between the kitchen and the dining space is £1,200, including the structural drawing. And the chimney stack needs some specific work doing because of the bricks, so we've got £1,500 there. The total refurb on this is coming in at £42,200. So that's where we're at with the refurb. And we've got the end value of this property, which is very conservative, and I mean very, very conservative, and we've got that at 170,000. We have comparables. We have a number of comparables, and this is a four bedroom house as well, guys. It's terraced, it's freehold, it's huge. It's 114 square meters. Now, this property, with the end value at 170, we have a profit, as you can see, guys, there. So let's just say, let's round it down to 1940, 130, 135. We've got a profit of about 30K in that property. That's our profit. But the person who we've sourced it for wants to use bridging. Now, the bridging costs are coming in at 9,000. 975 pounds, so almost 10k, that's the bridge. So if this person uses bridging, then obviously their profit will be down to 20,000 pound, which is what they actually asked for. That's what they asked for in their flip requirements. Documents are being sent over now. Memorandum of sale will be completed soon. I'm just going through some other bits and pieces. Guys, bridging as well. There's certain fees. There's an arrangement fee of 1,500 quid. There's a solicitor's fee of 1,500 pound. There's an admin fee of 400, and there's a valuation fee of 400. And I think it's a 1%, 0.98. So 0.98 of the loan amount, which will be 68,625. Deal is sourced. It's the second one that we have sourced this week. Had two meetings today. New mentor students have joined. I've signed these two guys up, Ashley and Lloyd. They have started their mentoring now. There's a picture of them right there. My latest mentor students. Guys, watch the journey because I'm going to document it on the weekly. These two I'm going to show. There's another two people of my mentor students who I want to show you. But pay attention to these. That's them there. I'm going to document their journey so you can see how good I actually am at what I do. And what better way than word of mouth spreading. If I'm shit, they'll say. If I'm great, they'll say. So guys, keep an eye on this. Yeah. Weekly gang, take a look around. Deal sourcing seminar is on the 28th of February. If you haven't got your ticket, 
we have added 20 spaces. So there's a link below for 20 more seats in here. And then I'm back for Change Your Life February. Guys, that seminar was the best seminar ever. TT, what day is the Change Your Life seminar in February? What happened with the panic then? Is it 18th or 19th? It's 18th. So February the 18th, change your life. Do you want to know about rent to rent, lease option agreement, service accommodation, flipping, BRR, deal sourcing, HMOs, land acquisition, flat conversions, commercial to residential. If you guys want to know all about that, get your asses down here and by the time you leave, you will know what strategy is for you. And if you do know what strategy is for you, come and network with 400 like-minded people. My nephew keeps telling me he's gonna come and watch, but then he makes an excuse up that he's still asleep. <laughs> Not happy about it whatsoever. We have a meeting with this guy now, whose favorite place is Blockswitch Road South. Um, and then he's smiling, look at his face. <laughs> look at his face. He has been on the tools apparently today. And what he did was he rushed here for this meeting at half past three and he quickly just patted him down with some dust. He did all this, put it on his face as well, because it was around his eye, and then he was like, oh, I've had a right day, I have to. <laughs> so yeah, so guys, don't forget, 18th of February, change your life. The link is below, tickets are free. This is not a paid event, this is completely free. No sales tactics, no upsells, no buy this, none of that. Get your asses down here, and I will see you next week for the seminar for the deal sourcing, but I will see you on February 18th for change your life. TT said, do I need a mic? Phil, do I need a mic? Not a chance. Not a chance. What do you think of this setup? Lovely. Cozy. It's really cool, isn't it? Guys, take a look at this one. 85 people in tomorrow for the deal sourcing education day. Guys, education is the education. The seminar is an overview of what it takes and what it entails to be. So make sure you understand the difference between an education day. The seminars are super educational, but the education days are intense and there's one here tomorrow. Also guys, I have a huge announcement. Huge, life-changing announcement. What's Phil wearing on his feet? Oh, no, he got, got me. He's he got me. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are they? Just uh, some Yeezy 500. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't wear them again. No, well, Lamar. Look at what you're doing to everyone. Lamar's spreading through the team. What is going on, guys? <laughs> Weekly gang, I'll see you at my house. Weekly gang, you're back at my house in our master closet, which has had furniture fitted. Now, we was having bespoke wardrobes built all down here, but we changed our mind because we're actually moving. We decided that we want to move. So we're waiting for crews to be born and then we're gonna give it a couple of months and we're going to move into another new house after we've basically just built this one. So we decided just to have some temporary wardrobes fitted instead of having some bespoke ones made. That is going to be all bags, that over there. This corner, if you come round and you can see, all here, all the way around, all bags. And then if I come round here and show you, all of this will be for clothes all the way along. And then we have these here and those there that have still got to be built where we're having a huge island put in the middle, which is gonna be amazing. And one of the members of the property circle, Andy Hart, he is going to be coming here next week to fit the carpet all the way down them stairs up there, all the landing upstairs and down here. So this will be finished by Friday. Also guys, quick update in here. If you remember, all of these were chrome. These ones here and that one over there, they are now black because we didn't like the chrome and it matched all the black radiators and the black taps and stuff. But this is done as well, it just needs cleaning. So downstairs, master closet and the ensuite is finished. 
next week, carpets, rest of the wardrobe's finished, so I'll give you an update on that next weekly. Guys, Friday night, I'm at home. It has been a very, very, very strange week. Um, it's been a very difficult week as well, to be honest, because I haven't had any motivation. I haven't spent a lot of time in the office. I haven't spent a lot of time filming. I haven't put a video out midweek for the first time in a very long time. And that is just because I'm tired. I, I needed a break. I needed a rest. I needed to reset. Today has been an awesome day. Today's Friday. What an awesome day it has been. And I feel a lot more energised today. I feel like, yes, I'm back. I went to the office. I had two meetings. I did a podcast with the Express and Star. I went to Millennium Point to check on the education day tomorrow for the setup because we have a great day tomorrow. And, yeah, I feel, I feel a little bit better. Emmanuel... It's his third week. He has been sensational. What a revelation he has been in the office. Really enjoy having him around. The lads have worked hard. Obviously, my Isabella behind the scenes is the queen of everything. She makes everything tick. But yeah, it's been a very challenging week. And I always tell you guys, you know, I have the greatest life ever, which I do. I genuinely have the greatest life ever. But some days it's very difficult to keep motivated. So yeah, I had a little bit of a... Bit of a reset, I think that's what we're calling. Other than that, guys, very blessed. Got to collect a new car this week, which you guys saw, and put an offer in on another house, which got accepted today. Two deals were sourced this week. So many people have signed up for the bespoke sourcing. 15 new deals are going on the board, either today or tomorrow, depending on the time that we get to put them on. 15, that is, guys, 15 deals for bespoke sourcing are being added for our deal sources to source, which is incredible. I think there's already 11 on there. So that's 26 deals. So if I do the maths and we average it out at 1,500 pound, that's 39,000 pound available on the board this month for our sources to find. That's incredible. I don't know how ever many people can do something like that. And also networking, we sold out Manchester. And we have now secured a hotel, I think it's Hotel La Tour, in Milton Keynes for the 18th of February. 225 spaces for Let's Talk Property. I am on tour, two guest speakers, super educational, motivational, inspirational, network and at like a pace that you find comfortable there's no forced you don't you know there's no sales as well we're not there to sell anything we're not trying to sell a course or anything like that it is purely educational and networking you guys will find it super super informative it's for anybody in property as well whether you're a beginner experienced or you're just curious and you want to meet people this is the place to be i am doing so much this year it's incredible already in january i have done a seminar, an education day, TPC tour, another seminar next week. Every weekend in February, we are completely sold out with events. I have attended networking events. I've been to one this week. I attended, well, sorry, I'm going to attend another networking event next week in London. My work ethic is second to none. And this year, I'm taking, well, me and Isabella are going to take the property circle nationwide. So Manchester, Milton Keynes, Liverpool, what's next? Tune in next week to find out. <laughs>